Governor Nasser al of Kaduna State has condemned the attack on two communities in Kaura, local government area of the state, which claims that the lives of about 37 people. In the statement by his Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arua, the governor described the attacks as inhumane, considering the effort of the government, security forces, the traditional institution and other critical stakeholders within the last week. He also condoled with the people of Malagum and Sokwong, uh, Sokwong communities where the attacks occurred and also prayed for the repose of the souls of those killed. The military and other security agencies reported a bandits attacked the locations and killed several citizens while burning houses and other property. Aerofi expressed deep sadness at the report of the incident, praying for the repose of the souls of those that had lost their lives and offering condolence to their family. He also directed the State Emergency Management Agency, SAMA, to urgently provide relief materials to the community, adding that an urgent security intervention is being conducted by the Defence Headquarters Operation Safe Haven. Now, away from uh, security matters, the former president of the Nigeria Bar Association, Dr. Olisa Agbakoba, senior advocate of Nigeria, has lambasted the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, of what it described as unwarranted media trial of the Kogi State government as regards a fresh case against the nephew of the governor and the previous 20 billion bailout controversy. Agbakoba spoke to newsmen on the rule of law in Nigeria today, held in Lagos, specifically specifically noted that the EFCC was turning itself into a one-man Robin Hood riot gang, which must not be allowed. The former NBA president said how um, a state spends its money should not be the business of an anti-graft agency. Agbakokba made the opinion known just as he called on the 18 candidates contesting in next year's presidential election to clearly state their commitment to the rule of law and the war against corruption. The legal luminary stated that the Supreme Court recently said in one of its judgments that the EFCC could not be a jack of all trade and that they should concentrate on what the law empowers them to do under Section 46 of the Act. He said the present state of the rule of law in Nigeria was precarious and the country needed a revolution to make it the bedrock of governance. But I was so glad to be vindicated by the Supreme Court about five months ago, the Supreme Court, in a very strongly worded judgment, castigated the EFCC and said, look, you know, if you interpret your powers gra granted under Section 46 of the EFCC Act in the way you do, then it means that you are the sole law enforcement agency in Nigeria, but you're not. So the Supreme Court redefined the functions of the EFCC in a very narrow manner as prescribed by the Act. It is not for the EFCC to be chasing the Kogi state government and saying, you know what, uh, we're going to cut away papers from the accountant general's office or whoever.